What's going on YouTube? This is Super Saiyan and we're gonna go over my Bad Manor Paladin. So to give you guys kind of a glimpse of what this build is, it's a Auradin. Pretty much has a little bit of poison. A little sprinkle of poison in there. Um, and we also smite. We smite with this thing. So it's a... I'm trying to develop... Let's put it this way. I'm trying to develop a paladin that can handle almost any situation. That, that's really my goal. Like, I have an an a little bit of an answer for every type of build, you know, whether it's a necro, um, like a poison nova one or something, or there's a trap sin in there. I'm just looking for, for an answer to something. Someone in my life tap, whatever. You're, you're gonna encounter it. People may even team up against you. I can ramble on and on about all the different scenarios that you can encounter, right, in PvP. But I need a build that can kind of, you know, handle it. I mean, that, that's what I'm testing. So, brief description of what the equipment is. I have a Hand of Justice with three Conviction, two Fists of Heavens. Can't afford a 3-3, it's super expensive. This'll have to do. I got a Dragon Ar Ar Archon Plate. It's got 14 ED. Again, I can still push the envelope and try to get a 15, but you know, I, I'm not I'm not super rich in this game. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Uh, Dragon Targe. Um, pretty much, it's got five attributes. I could push the envelope again, add that 15 ED, and get 45 all resist. But you know, I I'm broke. <laughs> Maras. I got a 30 Maras on here. I do have a Burr Burr COA. This one is 15 DR and 29 all resist. Again, it's what I could afford, um, but it, it it gives me, I think it gives me about 46 um, damage reduction between this and a Dungo's. Uh, for gloves, I have Smiter's, Smiter's gloves, you know, a little bit of crushing blow. I like to roll with one stat and then two dual, dual res on it and 20 IAS. That's kind of the ideal gloves, I think, for this build. I'm still experimenting. Then I got some tri-res boots. Uh, 30 run, run and walk, 10 faster hit recovery just to meet that break point. And then I got tri-res on it, cold, lightning, fire, because that's kind of what you encounter primarily in PvP. So that's a brief description of my all-around gear uh, that I use to run this build. And for the most part, it, it takes me through majority of classes without with minimal adjustment. Uh, the rings, I rock a raven and I rock a wisp. Um, definitely going to need the can't, can't be frozen. And then there's a lot more, you know, there's a lot of players that run lightning. Like those Javazons, when they just stab you, you're just like, Ugh, you're, 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 you're dead. <laughs> you know, so you got to be able to deal with that, right? Um, I want to go over... Pretty much kind of the stats of this build. Obviously I have max block. I'm pushing about, here, here's just a quick overview. I, I have 46 damage reduction. I have about 53% attack speed, 30 run and walk, 50% faster hit recovery. A little bit of deadly strike. I got some absorb, cannot be frozen. Uh, enemy resistance, negative 20% fire. Uh, that's just a brief overview. I'm pushing 320 fire res, 329 lightning res, three, almost 360 cold res, and 256 poison res. I got a torch. It's 2019. I can always try to purchase a perfect one. They're a little expensive. Uh, I have a 2020 Annie charm, and I have a bunch of 20 life for all res charms. Still a work in progress. As you can see here, I can't afford the 20 and 5 ones. I do have poison charms in here as well, so I'm kind of pushing the envelope and, and testing a few things with the charms. Uh, but right now it's 20 life, 100 uh, poison damage. Uh, just to be a bitch, right? Just a sprinkle of a little more bitchness in this build. Uh, but it, it's fun. Then I have cold res, fire res, lightning res charm. So it's 20 life with 11 resistance. And that's how I'm able to push the envelope here uh, regarding my charms and the overall 
build itself. But we'll move on to the inventory. Uh, so I do play around with different charms depending on who I'm fighting. So I have a stack of fire rest charms, so fireball sorks, uh, other Auradins. I I'm pretty much prepared, right? Uh, lightning. Uh, I don't know, Trappers, Javazons, Lightning Sorks, I can stack Lightning just to make me a little bit more tankier. Cold. Cold is always a problem. Uh, you don't want to get one-shotted by a Blizz Sork, so I have a bunch of Cold Res uh, stuff. And I'll probably later in this video I'll talk and show kind of what my resistance looks like when I'm fighting a Cold Sork and what I do to adjust this build. And versus you know, maybe a smiter or people who are absorbing me um, and there's not, you know, elemental um, classes that are playing around in that PvP match. I'll, I have these in my inventory, which are pally combat charms, but I rarely use it, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm too lazy to swap out all of these just to get a little bit more damage on my, my, my build, right? And then I have a Sunder Charm, obviously, for player versus monster. We're not here to talk about that, right? In the stash, I have four Crown of Ages. Actually, I have a total of five, if you include, include the one that I'm wearing right now, which is Burr Burr. Uh, I have one with pretty much, I think this one has a negative requirement jewel in it. 15 IAS, just so I can reach breakpoint on Zerk, on the Zerker Axe. Um, and then some resist. Then I have a cham and a 15 IAS, 15, I don't think that's 15 all res, I think it's a 14 all res jewel in there, uh, just so I can play with my build. Sometimes I need two wisp, sometimes I need two dwarfs, uh, depending on who's all in that match. So I still need cannot be frozen because you don't wanna, you don't wanna deal with uh, being frozen, so I threw a cham in there. Then I have a cham burr, Sometimes I don't need my two Raven Frost, or I'm sorry, not two Raven Frost. Maybe I don't need my Raven Frost, right? So I, I take that off, and then now I'm a little bit more durable, depending on who's in my, that game. Uh, most of the time, I rock this. I think it's it's fun rocking two Fire Faucets, and it, you get that little boost in damage, and you also reduce the resistance, and you could just see who's not. Uh, Wearing any absorb, once you slap this thing on, it's just like they die pretty quickly. Um, and I, I, I think it's kind of funny because it's like in PvP, if you're not... I mean, it depends on how you play. I like to create well-balanced characters. That's just me. I'll leave it at that. I do have a Grief Phase Blade. Um, this one's 38% increased attack speed, 399 damage. I use this if there's like people who use slow. There's a lot of Zons out there that use slow, um, other melee characters that use slow, especially in, um, you know, in public duel matches, right? So I'm covered for that. I have a Phoenix. This one is 44 all resist, 15 ED, and 395% damage. Uh, I rarely use this. I'll use it just for fun every now and then. I do have an Enigma in here. I don't really use it. If I'm just playing around with builds, I'll play around with it. Fortitude, again, same situation, just playing around with builds. Chains of Honor, playing around with builds. And these shields, I don't use these hauses. Um, I thought I would they would come in handy for some matches, but, but not really. Uh, maybe for my other builds they may be useful, but I do have them. One with an um, burr, and a cham, and yes, these are all 200 ED. Because if you're going to buy a Haas, you might as well go all the way. <laughs> um, I do have Marowaks. So Marowaks are honestly the secret sauce um, versus Life Tappers. So I have Bone Prison. Sometimes I'll use it versus Auradin, other Auradins, uh, but rarely. I'll do it maybe to be a dick. Um, Maybe if like they're an asshole and they were like body camping me and I finally got the upper hand and uh, they're naked, I'll fucking bone prison. I'm like, fuck it, just stay in there, bitch. <laughs> and I just laugh. It, it's, it's funny to me, you know. Uh, but life tap is really the se secret sauce on these boots. You're going to encounter people who are running exile, people who have life tap wands. Like, that's just part of the game. So, my answer is you got to fight fire with fire. So, that's what I'm doing. 
I even have an exile on this. Not the best, but good enough. Um, and then PVM, I have a Hand of Justice phase blade. Uh, just so my durability uh, doesn't go down and repair costs are just a little bit lower. Uh, and then I have my reams in here. Uh, I just put them in there. Uh, two dwarfs, I got two wisps, I got a raven. I just thought it would look cooler without the rings in here. Inventory looks dope. You know, you got the crown, you got the armor, you got the shield. Looks, looks pretty clean that way. Um, but that's pretty much what I have uh, between my stash, my inventory. So this is my character. Um, with BO, I just wanted to show the life a little bit. I have 4,231 life. Uh, with an oak, I'm pushing close to 5k just to kind of show a little bit about the durability on this character. So here's what I've done to tweak my character, for example, to fight a cold sorceress. I swap out my helm to a 15, it's got 15 all res jewels in it, two of them. And then I swap two ravens, then I put some cold resist charms. My character is pushing 508 cold res without salvation. Uh, without salvation, I'm also pushing 337 fire res, 324 lightning res, and 284 poison. As soon as I pop salvation, uh, right here, now I have 621 cold res, 450 fire, and 437 lightning so this character is still beefy enough to withstand other classes it's just i i have more of a focus towards a blizzard sword just so i'm not getting one-shotted right so that's kind of my answer to it and i still pop conviction while i do that so i, I believe i'm beefy enough to i mean I'll, I'll i'll be taking some damage but it's reduced dramatically so i'm a lot tankier uh that but that's a a brief description of how I could change this build up, the flexibility, in it, the flexibility within the build. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about the skill tree. This build is pretty much a traditional Aradin build and I use Holy Fire items primarily. So I'm maxing Resist Fire and Salvation. So that's 20 hard points. I do have four points because I try to get Vigor and this is only because like when I fight casters who have a lot of absorb, I know that they're kind of pumping their res, but then they're neglecting their damage reduce. So in order for me to exploit that weakness, I'll use my Grief Zerker Axe, pop Viger, and I'll try to desync, and and that's how I handle that build. Some builds are not able to have a good balance, so I kind of exploit. Uh, the weakness in their build by, by desyncing. Ignore meditation, that's just because I have that on my stick. Uh, as soon as I swap it out, it's no longer there. I uh, actually, I won't talk about offensive yet. I'll talk about combat skills. So I use smite. So even versus other Aradins, I pretty much know that they have shit damage reduction. Um, I stack my damage reduction in order to accommodate majority of other uh, situations like versus Zons, versus Bard versus Caster, so I keep my DR on. Um, but Smite is such, it's such an OP skill, so it's like, all you need is a Grief. So I have a Grief Zerker, I pop Smite, I have 20 hard points into this, I, I pretty much get the 4 points to get up to Holy Shield, and I put 1 point in Holy Shield. Um, Fist of Heavens, that's... I, I don't really use this too often. Every now and then, maybe if there's just a tick away, I'll just throw it on. Uh, but it's nice to have it. Uh, it's primarily from my FOH stick. Offensive Auras. Obviously, you need to get up to 25 Conviction. I mean, there's no doubts about it. My, my stick has three points. Uh, into it which kind of helps out that's why my base is really low uh, if I have my BO you will see a skill level of 25 uh, conviction on there so I have 14 base base points into that and then my goal is to max fan 
Uh, the reason why is just for the IS breakpoints, and you get a little nice damage boost uh, for situations where you do need to melee. Um, so that's why I have that. It's still a work in progress. I have to be level 98 in order to achieve that. So that's going to conclude this video. This is just kind of a brief description of what I'm trying to work on right now. It's really that all around bad manner paladin build, but it's it's got some substance because it, it can handle pretty much almost every class or have some type of answer. It's not the best at everything, but it's good enough and it's it's quite fun to play versus because sometimes you get teamed on. There's just certain classes that give you problems, but this one kind of has some type of answer for the most part and it's cheesy i don't care but it's it's fun as fuck um playing anyways that's the super say ian bad manor paladin build thank you guys for watching peace